Wheat is a highly self-pollinated crop, the floral part of wheat is known as spike. Each spike consists of two rows of spikelet and each spikelet contains three florets. In each floret there is an ovary that can be identified with its white flask-shaped structure and three anthers which look filamentous and are green in color. Crossing and hybridization includes two steps emasculation and pollination. Emasculation For emasculation a spike which is in late booting stage is selected. The flag leaf is peeled off carefully. Now, the immature spikelet from the top and bottom are clipped off with the help of scissors. Out of the three florets the middle floret is carefully plucked out with the help of forceps. After removing middle floret from all the spikelet, the two-third part of the spikelet is cut down with scissor to expose the anthers and ovary. It should be noted that during emasculation, cutting of spikelet part 1 should be very careful, it should not damage the ovary and shall give substantial space for pollen shading. After cutting the spikelet all three anthers should be plucked with the help of forceps and no anther shall stay behind as it will lead to the self-pollination and failure of hybridization. Additionally, Anthers should not break while plucking this will lead to the bursting of pollens on the ovary and therefore lead to self-fertilization. After emasculation, cover the spike with butter paper bag. Mention the date of emasculation on it. However, before covering the spike make sure that all the anthers have been removed from the existing florets. Pollination or pollen dusting Three days after emasculation, pollens from the male parent can be transferred to the emasculated spike. A spike which is in its complete heading stage is selected as source of pollen. Cut the spike with peduncle, the spikelet shall be cut down from the edges. Leave the spike dipped in tumbler filled with water facing towards the sun. After 4 to 5 minutes the anthers will start coming out of the florets. Cut the butter paper bag from the top and carefully dust the pollen on emasculated spike. After dusting, put a tag, mentioning the cross name, date of crossing and name of person, inside the bag and seal it properly. At maturity, seeds are collected and stored separately for each cross. This seed is a hybrid seed.